So today, I have decided to unveil my annual Top 10 CB rankings for the 2023 NFL Draft. But this year, I did something very different. Although I trust my film analysis, as a person who studies persuasion and psychology, I decided to bypass my biases by building a scouting system via ChatGPT. The results were surprising. I asked ChatGPT to build out a scouting model for me using notes from great coaches and executives like Bill Belichick, Bill Walsh, Al Davis, as well as modern evaluators like Daniel Jeremiah, Chris Sims, Lance Zierlein, Mike Lombardi, and Greg Cosell. Then I asked it to incorporate Kent Lee Platt, a.k.a. Math Bomb's relative athletic score data for athletic testing and measurables, as well as statistical production. Then I told it the traits that I value for how I evaluate my own players, and to weight those accordingly. These are the criteria that it came up with. Then I asked it to come up with a tiering system that described the impact of the player, not the round in which they should be picked. I don't care about where they're picked, I care about how they play. Then I described each player in each category and asked it to give me a grade. These were the results. Disclaimer. This does not include players I could not get all 22 film access to like Tyreek Stevenson, Terrell Smith, Corey Trice Jr., etc. Tier 4, number 10, Joey Porter Jr., Penn State, grade 58.7. This was the most shocking of the group. As you know, I'm a huge fan. I really like the player, but the fact that he doesn't always play hard and has some athletic flaws really knocked him down the list. Tier 3, number 9, Julius Brents, Kansas State, grade 66.2. This one hurt because he's one of my favorites in the class, but the film was too erratic. The athletic ability is off the charts, but the technique is lacking. Number 8, Makey Blackman, USC, grade 69.0. An experienced, savvy corner who isn't getting much buzz but has all the skills to stick in the league. Trust me, I'm not just saying that because his high school head coach was my college roommate. Number 7. DJ Turner, Michigan. Grade 71.4. A scrappy man-to-man -man corner who had an incredible season in the Big Ten but struggled in the college football playoff. He projects to move inside in the NFL. There is no number 6 because my number 5 corner is a tie. First up, Cam Smith, South Carolina grade 74.7. .7. Unfortunately, he was the only player I did not get to release a film breakdown of, but for my unfiltered rankings, I felt he was the safest CB prospect in this group along with someone else. My other number five corner is Emmanuel Forbes, Mississippi State, grade 74.7. .7. Another interesting one. There was only one game that popped for me, but it was against Jamison Williams and it really popped. It's funny he's tied with Smith because he's the inverse of him. Boom or bust. Tier 2, number 4, Riley Moss, Iowa, grade 76.1. One of the safest prospects in the class for me because of his athleticism, versatility, and special teams value. Moss will be a pro for a long time. Number 3, Devin Witherspoon, grade 77.8. This one surprised me because y'all know I'm not a huge fan, but it proved to me that this process was useful for filtering out my own biases. He's a tough, instinctive downhill player that likes to leave receivers getting scraped off the turf in his wake. Number 2. Deontay Banks, Maryland. Grade 79.9. Y'all know how I feel about Banks? His freakish athleticism is only matched by his high football IQ. If I was a GM, he wouldn't make it out of the top 10 picks. Number 1. Christian Gonzalez, Oregon. Grade 82.3. An elite technician and elite athlete with versatility and more upside to become even more better and refined. There is no Tier 1. Sorry folks, the second coming of Dayon is not coming in this draft. This clearly is not an exact science, but I'm excited to see how my rankings turn out next season. And if I find them useful going forward, I hope to keep tweaking this model and use it for future drafts.